Yeah, Joyce and Greg, good evening to you both. Really multiple announcements from the governor. You already alluded to the change in vaccination status statewide. There is also a change in how all of this will be implemented. The governor calling in the likes of Costco, Microsoft and Starbucks at their Soto headquarters here to build out and streamline these sites. We believe this is an opportunity to come together, unite around a common goal, and to support our public sector leaders as they work to scale up vaccination capability across the state of Washington. That's Starbucks CEO Kevin Johnson explaining why the company, known for jolts of caffeine, will be focusing on a different kind of double shot. And so here in the Trier Center, it is the Starbucks is providing space in its Trier Center Innovation Lab at its Seattle headquarters to provide engineering and analytical support using computer modeling reserved normally for coffee distribution and store site selection to the public health effort. Operation Warp Speed has to this point been more like a slow trickle. The state has only used roughly a third of vaccine supply on hand and the national stockpile has no reserves. An associated press analysis says only 2.6% of Washington's population has received a dose. That's led to long lines at pop-up sites like one in Squim last week. This public-private partnership also seeks to eliminate that with these new mass vaccination sites next week and moving to Phase 1B now, allowing anyone over 65 to get a shot if they want. Facilities, Microsoft's uh, Brad Smith says know. the Redmond campus could also soon be a vaccination site. So we're going to be working with local hospitals, uh, so that they can administer their vaccines uh, in a building on our campus. We'll provide support staff uh, to make that possible and to reduce the cost. Uh, the goal is to make this in February one of the mass vaccination sites. This is not going to be a site for Microsoft employees. This is going to be a site for people in the community. I asked the governor if there were any sort of public dollars going to these publicly traded companies to do any of this. He said no. Now let's take a look at a map of those new mass vaccination centers that are scheduled to open again next week. They are all outside the Puget Sound region. The National Guard has also been called in to assist the Spokane Arena in Spokane, the Benton County Fairgrounds in Kennewick, the Toyota Town Center in Wenatchee, and the Clark County Fairgrounds in Ridgefield that is in southwest Washington near Vancouver. The governor's office tells me that King, Pierce, and Snohomish counties already had their plans in place for max vaccination sites, and they will get further government assistance to carry those out. That is the story for now. Live in Soto in Seattle, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.